cat. His tongue feels like sandpaper. <laughs> anyway, not going to be doing much today. Just kind of hanging around the house, cleaning, getting ready for my niece and my cousin to come in. I know I told you guys that I had never met my cousin in person before, and that might have sounded a little strange, but I grew up with his dad. So, uh, he's my second cousin, I guess that's how you would say it. Um, so I never met him in person before, so it's going to be interesting when they get off the plane. Um, I'll know my niece, obviously, um, but I've never actually met Brett before, so. But hopefully we're going to have a fun field two weeks for them. We are still working on the investigation vlogs, so, uh, get that up for you guys soon. Catch y'all a little later. Grumpy, 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 grumpy Lou. You're rushing me. I don't like being rushed. <laughs> and I have to pee. We'll go pee. Well, you didn't, you don't give me a second to do anything. But, but you don't have to clean up the table. You don't have to clean up the place first. Go pee. So it's kind of hard to be out here at Lake Arrowhead and not relax a little. It's just so calm. You're being sarcastic, aren't no, you? No, it's calm. I mean, you just look at the water. Even the water's calm. There's just a couple of boaters out there. So what do you mean, not relax? It's it's hard to be here and not relax. You can't you can't not relax when you're here. It's so peaceful. So can we now go look at the realtors? No. You're no fun. Kevin? Yeah. Kev, Kev, yeah. It's right here. Couple steps. Driving around a little bit, and from here, you're supposed to be able to drive all the way around the lake, but I don't know how we can do that. We just tried, and we ended up someplace a little strange, but from here, you can see the lake and the boats, and over here, it looks like there's another whole dock section. People are driving on this road, even though it's really twisty and turny they flying huh? yeah they're 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 locals so they're used to riding on it and we are just not used to it at all so so we're kind of just meandering around and getting in people's way <laughs> well I actually just put up the map and it looks like if we stayed on this uh, highway 173 going the other way it would it'll go around the lake okay good it but we get away from the lake for a short period of time okay so all I have to do is figure out how to turn this beast around you know, on these little roads Okay. 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 Cedar Glen okay. is where we are right now. Pretty view. Ooh. Ooh. Now we're supposed to, from what I've read, we're going to cross the uh, the dam. Because this is a uh, man-made lake. It's been dammed. And it has uh, two dams. One is a new one that we're going to cross. And then there's an older one that was built in the 1890s. And it's still there. And it's actually makes, it's made a little tiny lake. So there's a little lake between the two dams. Okay. You, I think they call it Papoose. You cursed three times. So you need to put three dollars <laughs> in the cuss jar. It was not a curse. No, you didn't curse. It was a you it's, cussed. It's a dam. That's four now. <laughs> so 
here's the lake again. So, and there should be a little lake over here. Ah, there's, there's the little lake. There's another dam on the other side. And there's the damn dam. Oh, man, now you cussed. <laughs> And this was the lake by which we were at. <laughs> ah, don't do that. You scared me. Don't be scared. So my crazy wife must have a pine cone. Watch for spiders. It's not just a pine cone. It's a big pine cone. Look at the size of the pine cone. Yes, dear. It looks like a a um pineapple. Pineapple, thank yes. you. Get in the truck. Pushy, pushy. No critters in that thing? I hope not! Can we fit it in the truck? Do you want it in your bedroom? No, I'll settle for it on the patio. On the patio? It's kind of an interesting looking place, a little eclectic. There's a smaller one over here. You can't take it home. Nice kitty. Sorry. It's a nice kitty too. Alright. No, 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 no. <laughs> so we're having dinner in the Saddleback Inn Grill and Megan got no, 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 no. bow tie pasta. Mom. No. Kevin had to run back to the room because he needed his so basil spray. So you're videotaping the empty seats. But he got what was it? Chicken tornadoes? No, it's chicken Oscar. Chicken Oscar. Oscar chicken. Oscar chicken. He's gonna do Oscar. Yes, that's right. He was gonna do Oscar. Poor Oscar. And I don't get to eat. My prime rib. Oh mm, mm, good. You're black. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she changes her hair every time I see her. What's up? What's up? Mwah. Why are you here? I have no idea. I just show up. <laughs> he always just shows up for no reason. I randomly just. I don't know. I need to change my pants again. <laughs> <laughs> are you ready? I think, my to... I think my driving scared him up the mountain. <laughs> <laughs> are you ready to bust some ghosts? Sure. When this closes down tonight, we're going in. Tell the story. Tell the story, Sarah. Tell me a story and it starts with Okay, so, okay, so I'm, I'm house sitting and animal sitting for you guys. And, and uh, this morning when I went to go feed the Eurmastic, he was in there playing dead and it freaked me out. And I was like tapping on the glass and trying to get him to like move or do anything and then I started freaking out so I called you and as and I had you on speaker while I was trying to take the lights off and stuff and as soon as as soon as you put Megan on the phone the damn thing moved and freaked me out really bad and yeah I know a dollar to the customer <laughs> so apparently Missy I'm looking at you Filming you. Microwaving some ice cream. <laughs> oh, how fun! Well, I'm gonna film your butt if you don't turn around and look at me. So apparently, your voice brings lizards <laughs> back to life. It was quite disturbing. <coughs> it was quite disturbing. Uh, uh, you're weird. Oh, uh, la la. I'm glad he's alive, though, and then I don't have to replace you. <laughs> you wouldn't want to Not replace him. Not on your watch, him. right? I, mean, no, I wouldn't I make wouldn't you replace wanna... him anyway. I know I wouldn't want to replace him. <laughs> you know he's expensive. Yes, I know. Because <laughs> he's rare. <laughs> like you. He's pretty cool looking, though, isn't he? It's kind of 
Mike. Did you just steal my bowl? So, Kevin, we're all done with our investigation of the Saddleback Inn at Lake Arrowhead. What are your final thoughts? Well, uh, a couple of things. First of all, I, I love the hotel. <clears throat> I love the people here. Love the lake. Had a great time. Everybody was very willing and happy to share their stories uh, about the hauntings here, and there apparently is quite a bit, including this 7-Eleven that we didn't get to get into. Uh, apparently, it used to be the pool for the uh, hotel. Uh, we had some pretty good, interesting uh, things happen. We still have to go through our EVPs and videotape, but, but Val's already found some interesting stuff on our EVPs and we had a wandering doll so and that was probably the coolest part so my take on it was I want to move to Lake Arrowhead I know you do there are a lot of places up here that we have heard from just this two days being up here that have hauntings. We have been invited to come back and do a paranormal investigation for Brackenfern Manor. My hopes are that we can come back up here, do Brackenfern Manor, and find a another location up here that also has hauntings and speak to the owners of that place and maybe get invited to come back and investigate another place and as long as they different hotels keep inviting us to come back we will keep coming back because it's beautiful up here and if I could get Kevin to get into one of the real estate offices here and just look at some places. And if we could move up here, I'm down. Hey, everybody. Guess it's what time it is. It's time for shout out. Okay, boss. <laughs> it's time for the Boomer Show. <laughs> Amby Rusty said she would love to clean my room at a hotel because she wouldn't have to touch the bed. I know she wouldn't have to touch anything if I left her in there long enough. <laughs> That's so true. She must love cleaning up after OCD people. And welcome to the neighborhood, Lo Lloyd James. He came over from Nikki and John's site. Yay. Stay, he likes the ghosty stuff. Good. Stay tuned for the ghost investigation from the Saddleback Inn that should be going up in a few days. Katie Caroline, feel better, honey. I know it's your third day of school and you said you're very sick. Uh -huh. Gotta get better, gotta go to school. School is important. Dana Besaw loves history. So when we were talking about the history of the Brackenfern Inn Manor, she was really excited about that. So I told her when we're doing the investigation, she's going to get even more history. Or she can look it up and tell us. That's right. There there's, you go, Dana. There's plenty written about uh, Bugsy Siegel. Bugsy Siegel. There you go, Dana. And Kimmy says she loves this family. Well, Kimmy, we love you, Mike and Dean, also, and we love for you guys to come out and visit sometime. And Terry Johnson figured out the clue that, or the question that was asked about the actor that was in the picture with um, Boris Karloff. No, with uh, Peter Lorre. Peter Lorre. And she likes it with the little mysteries that we ask you guys to figure out. We like doing it because it keeps you guys involved. So, that, 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 and Kat Larkin, we haven't heard from you in a while. I hope everything's okay. I miss you, girl. Get back here. 
So, my niece and my cousin haven't come in yet. Their plane was delayed in New York, so they're not coming in until about 10.30 tonight or so. So, we will be filming them coming in, but <laughs> that'll be put in the... Probably tomorrow's vlog. Tomorrow's vlog, yeah. So, anyway, time for... Neighborhood Community Shoutouts. And I think it's my turn to start. <laughs> Kimmy, you're lagging. You're supposed to keep me up. Whose turn is it? I think it's mine. You did it yesterday. I think you did, actually. Jack Adams. Keith Caroline. Lucy Bluebone. Daniel Scott. Christopher Trade Show. Play Battle with the Username. Selena G. Love 487, also known as Brian. Tom Shoe. Shoe? Yeah. It's not a shoe. shoe. It's like, a, go ahead. <laughs> Rex 25059. ZZ Epic Dude ZZ. Dana Besaw. Marin Brenda Schmidt. Daphne Sheehan. Lucy and Autumn. Samantha L. Domestic Goddess. Alien K18, also known as Kimmy. Destiny Hall. Sammy Anir. Uh, the Abyss 92882. Meet the Presleys. Charlene Higdon. Charlena. Charlena Higdon. Actually, you know, I think I did start yesterday. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> I messed up. Skylar, Chantel, Shaylee, and Shaden. Ground Dome. Whitney Broderson. Justina C. SG Sprint Car One. Okay, got it. Got it? You got okay it. with that? I'm good. Okay. You good? I'm good. You good? You are all part of our neighborhood community. We would not be here if it wasn't for every single one of you. We love you all. Thank you. Thumbs up, and we will see you tomorrow.